You have recently joined one of the world's most prestigious fraternities, Scottish Rite Freemasonry in the Northern Masonic Jurisdiction. The Northern Jurisdiction stretches across 15 states, from its headquarters, the Supreme Council in Lexington, Massachusetts, to the wide open farmlands of the Midwest, from our border with Canada to the southernmost tip of Illinois. Within these bounds, its membership likewise extends across a vast reach. The best way to understand what it means to be a 32nd degree Mason is to ask those who have made the fraternity an important part of their lives. The reason many Masons become Scottish Rite Masons is that they want further education on what they learned in, in the Blue Lodge. And the Scottish Rite provides 29 additional lessons that help to embellish and build upon what they learned at the Blue Lodge level. It's been said that the first three degrees of Masonry help us to become a, a better man inside. And the degrees up through the 32nd help us to be a better man to the rest of the world. And the teachings certainly are there. And if we listen to those teachings, and put them into our daily lives, we're going to be a, a better employee, a better husband, a better father, and a better servant to the community. The teachings of Scottish Rite Masonry are central to its long history, a history that began in Europe during the Enlightenment of the 18th century and reached the United States in 1767 with the formation of a Lodge of Perfection in Albany, New York. Scottish Rite was uh, founded in its early years uh, by the Stuart uh, exiles uh, from Britain who settled in and around Bordeaux in France and was brought here to the United States. And our own history, of course, goes back to 1801 when the first Supreme Council was founded in Charleston, South Carolina which then, of course, branched off uh, the northern part of which we're members of uh, branched off uh, in 1813. The continuity between past and present is one of the lights of Scottish Rite Masonry, a symbolic term that to 32nd degree Masons means the wisdom that has been passed down from previous generations. You can have a great deal of success in material life, uh, in your own business or your own profession. But we find that for many of those young men particularly who are coming to us now, that there's something missing. And the missing element is that dimension that we think that Scottish Rite Masonry particularly can offer them. And that is almost 200 years of heritage and a place where they can find comfort in the future and where we adjust ourselves to modern life but we hold steadfast to the truths uh, that masonry offers that wisdom is codified as the 29 degrees beyond the third scottish rite also bestows an additional degree the 33rd for exemplary service to the fraternity or mankind the 29 degrees are principles teachings and ethics, values and good citizenship. They promote such universal qualities as tolerance, reverence for God, and dignity in labor. What is most distinctive about Scottish Rite Masonry is how those universal principles are taught to degree candidates. Scottish Rite degree presentations are part of a tradition that goes all the way back to the Middle Ages and the plays staged by guilds of tradesmen. Their common theme was good versus evil. And to communicate their lessons, they make great use of symbolism and allegory. Of course, modern-day degree presentations are quite sophisticated, both in their production values and lessons. Their stories come from a wide variety of sources, including the Old Testament, the founding of the United States, and the Second World War. Most important are the principles communicated by the presentations. These are divided into four groups. Many of the stories in the first group, the Lodge of Perfection, are set in the time of King Solomon. 
This group elaborates on the principles of the symbolic or blue lodge. The principles taught in the second group, the Council of Princes of Jerusalem, put strong emphasis on loyalty and devotion to truth. They are set during the captivity of the ancient Hebrews and the building of the second temple. The philosophical degrees of the chapter of Rose Croy, the third group, explore the idea that the most enduring of all things human is one soul. And the fourth group, the consistory, conveys its principles through historical settings that range all the way from feudal chivalry to the 20th century. The degrees are calls to action. For the individual, they inspire self-betterment. For the collective brotherhood, they inspire pride, camaraderie, learning, and charity. Above all, they inspire 32nd degree Masons to put their beliefs to work. I learned that one could volunteer, and I like nothing better than to get out there in the ritual or in the dramas and do my thing. It makes me happy, and it makes me proud because I'm helping my brothers to come in to the right. The degree presentations themselves provide the opportunity for both camaraderie and teaching. It made me a better person. It uh, has enlarged my acquaintances with other people. I've got the training in there and leadership that I wouldn't have been able to get other places because it's so, so much more uh, intense and larger than our uh, symbolic blue lodges. <laughs> Scottish Rite social activities range from dinner dances to seminars, from concerts to picnics, from sports outings to ladies' nights. The Rite puts great stock in families and their participation in the life of the fraternity. The, the activities that we have here in the Scottish Rite Cathedral are really geared toward the entire family. Family values, getting the whole family involved, and we try and have something for all members of the family. A brother's duty to his family has always been one of the Rite's most cherished values. In celebration and support of the family, the Rite created its Family Life Program. The Supreme Council promotes and coordinates the program, while the Valleys conduct their own local programs and special events. The thrust behind their activities is to strengthen families and provide opportunities for them to enjoy great times together. Around Thanksgiving, the program culminates in the annual Family Life Week. And at the end of the year, the Supreme Council awards special recognition to the best local programs and activities throughout the jurisdiction. Of course, almost any right activity, official or unofficial, offers a chance to make new friends and get to know old friends better. Every gathering, whether at the valley, state, or jurisdictional level, expands a member's horizons. You get to share time with other Masons from, indeed, not just the, the city or another county, but all across the country and actually around the world. The Masons, as Don would tell you, is a very tight-knit network of people who really care about each other. They are constantly networking. Um, their commitment to each other is surpassed by nothing. The caring expressed by 32nd degree Masons goes well beyond the Brotherhood and their families. It extends throughout the northern jurisdiction, indeed throughout the country and the world. It is embodied in the Scottish Rite's many philanthropies. Since 1934, the Rite's Schizophrenia Research Program has funded investigation into the causes of a disease that afflicts more than a million Americans. Since the Rite has been involved, great advances have been made in the treatment of the acute form of schizophrenia. Today, the Scottish Rite Program awards dissertation research fellowships to promising graduate students at selected universities throughout the jurisdiction. Through their Abbott scholarships, 32nd degree Masons have supported a college education for the children and grandchildren of Wright members. At a time when the cost of higher education has risen precipitously, the Wright has helped thousands of families create opportunity for their children, and in turn, create a well-educated workforce for our country. In 1975, the Wright officially presented another of its gifts to the American people and the world. On the eve of our country's 200th birthday, the Museum of Our National Heritage opened to the public. 
Located in historic Lexington, Massachusetts, the museum is a lively interactive museum of American history and culture, as well as an unrivaled library of Masonic documents and collection of Scottish Rite artifacts. The museum's versatile spaces, state-of-the-art technology, and beautiful grounds allow it to complement its exhibitions with music, performances, readings, films, and outdoor events. The Museum of Our National Heritage does far more than educate its visitors. It inspires them with a brotherhood spirit and our country's ideals. The most recent of the Brotherhood's philanthropies are the Scottish Rite Learning Centers, places where children with dyslexia are finding hope, self-confidence, and success. The first summer we were here, uh, a gentleman came to my office after the summer program was over, took his ball cap off and said to me, uh, Dr. Napo, I want you to know, and he was hugging on his son at the time, that you have saved my son's life. M my son can read. We are making a tremendous difference, and we owe a tremendous debt to the Scottish Rite Freemasons for not only lending us the benefit of the dollars, but also lending us the benefit of the prestige which they enjoy, which of course adds to our credibility. And the, the most wonderful thing that's happening is that we see an impact on public schools. Teachers are saying, hey, I want to learn about that. It is a miracle. You know, that you've taken a child who who always had trouble and you've made him stand tall and proud and, and real confident in his abilities. And to me it said, Mom, now I feel like a normal kid. That says a lot. You know, he is a normal kid. Thank you so much for Timmy and for all the kids. They're happy, they're successful, where they haven't been before. Being a 32nd degree Mason means, of course, different things to different men. But whenever they speak of belonging to the Scottish Rite, they all express one universal emotion, pride. Pride in belonging to an organization with such a rich heritage, inspiring principles, emphasis on family and fellowship, and a long record of helping to better all of our lives. What I would want anybody to know about me is that, that Ross Geiger is, is proud to be a, a Mason. He's certainly proud to be a Scottish Rite Mason. And he's proud of that because he feels that he can take those lessons and apply those in, a, in his daily life. And it's not uh, a, a bunch of dramatic plays. It's got a real life purpose and a practicality, something that the modern man today can apply in his daily life. And use that not for just the betterment of himself, but for the betterment of his family and, and his neighbor, his fellow man. It's a constant opportunity to be with my brothers, it's a constant sharing of love and warmth and friendship. We do things together. It's, it's a family. It's a tie that you can't imagine. We're all bound together. You now have an opportunity to strengthen the tie that binds all of us together, that makes us better men and puts our Masonic principles into action. We invite you to take an active part in the fraternal life of your local Scottish Rite Valley. And please, share the pride of your membership with your family, friends, and with the brothers in your symbolic lodge who could also benefit from becoming a 32nd degree Mason.